All right, we're gonna do some unboxing of the Peter McKinnon travel bag and I think accessory kit. In fact, this has come a long time ago. However, I didn't unwrap it because it was supposed to go on a vacation with us. Vacation got canceled and we never made it. So I just never opened it and I was like, put it to the side and so we're gonna open it today and see it and then I'm gonna do a what's in my camera bag. All right, we're gonna start with this white bag. I believe this is the extra strap. Woohoo! Just the extra strap because I didn't get the full backpack because I was gonna use the accessory bag inside my um, my other backpack, which I haven't had a chance to. All right, so here is the accessory bag. Be careful. I just got the cube. Ooh. This is just so that I can put it in um, any other camera bag that I have for when I travel. And then when you get to your place, this is that accessory bag that then becomes a backpack within a backpack so you can have your camera bag and a little to-go bag while you're around town when we can travel again and then this is the extra strap since I didn't get the regular backpack all right so now we're going to figure out the configurations with my other backpacks and repack it to put some lenses in for when you were to travel for what's in my travel bag but first we're going to look at my current uh, camera bag which is, this is the normal Canon bag that I use to all my, to the high school sporting events, middle school sporting events, and some summer league sporting events, and travel sporting events. Basically, a lot of sporting events. The, the travel carry-on size bag that I got was the Osprey Porter 46. This is a carry-on size for Spirit Airlines. I was very meticulous in my measurements, trying to get the perfect bag. Uh, we, as a family of five, were gonna go on a trip um, on an airplane out to uh, Vegas for the first time and what we were going to do to save costs is everybody had their personal size bag all five of us and then we were going to do one carry-on and we were going to go skiing we were going to go to the Grand Canyon we we're going to go to Zion so basic desert to the ski lodge basically fly to Vegas and then do a road trip after staying in Vegas for a few days and then doing a road trip and then ending up in Denver, Colorado. Those plans got changed, but the travel bags were still purchased prior to changing all that. So I was lucky and found this bag and was unsure if my nomadic uh, Peter Ken McKinnon bag was gonna come and it happened to come right on time and I would have been able to use it, but um, didn't get to use it. So now we're gonna see how it fits how everything would have fit inside and then go from there. So to open the bag, there's lots of different pockets. You have a nice big opening and I forgot I had bought some, a smaller travel bag and just an organizer that I put to travel in either my bag or one of the other bags. And then we're gonna take the new pouch. And I put the strap inside the pouch for right now. We're gonna take it out so we can zip it up better. fits perfect and then this was the space for packing 
but and this would have all my travel gear because I was only going to take enough cameras and lenses um, to fit and that would fit inside this so I didn't need to take any more than that because obviously I needed to fit snow pants and coats and all that other stuff and all right this is perfect because I have not opened this this bag since the last high school basketball game it's May and that game took place in January I believe or no it was in February and so this is basically what I had at the last high school basketball game so we're talking about indoor sports photography and um, but my kids are involved in basketball cheer which is indoor and um, outdoors they're involved in baseball track and field and football so I had to try to get a camera that would help with all those sports indoor and outdoor and be versatile so this is what I came up with and not completely break the bank but it wasn't cheap at the same time and these are just little photography things that I get with pictures of the kids that I do the bag the bag is just a, a Canon camera bag that you got for free when you order a camera pack um, I believe I ordered it off of Amazon um, and I believe it was for my Canon um, 60 mark II, and I just got the camera bag and a whole bunch of little needless accessories but at the time that was literally the best deal that you could get so I took the best deal and I got the camera bag and the camera and so this is free and so as you can see there's lots of things like napkins and these are just um, a lens pouch to keep some lenses but I really don't use this that often um, this is just a memory stick um, just in case don't really use it but I like to have it in the camera bag just in care a pencil which you do use some gum which you do use and um, cheerleading brochures for when you go to cheer competitions and they they give all the names of the girls that you're taking pictures of including your own children's names and then um, that's all that's kind of in this front bag and this front pocket is where I usually keep my keys and um, and purse or um, I have a small little purse that I take out of my big purse when I'm just using my camera bag and then that's the way it's right on the front all right And then this, you put them in the middle. And then if you want to get a locking, because this doesn't have a locking, you just put a carabiner or something right there, or a key ring, and that'll help lock it. So the inside, KT tape, because, again, my kids are involved in sports, along with Advil. And then these are all your cords, iPhone cords, extra headphones in case we're inside a gym and people forget their headphones extra batteries um, a PD pouch um, tools and more tools and extra um, attachment things in case I need to uh, fix new things because um, of, for the PD system. Let's just put in the little bag that it comes with. Uh, extra lenses and lens caps. I'm sorry, just extra lens caps. One for a Tamron and one, and one for a Canon. And then inside the bag, We have the, the strap and as you can see it was on the camera at the time so I just had it laying right there and this is the camera lens that I use the most the 70 to 200 f4 
IS. So I just got the F4, so it's a little bit lighter since I do tend to take more pictures. And so far, even indoors, it's worked well for me. It's the new um, F4 Lin IS2, and I love it. I was said for the longest time I wasn't going to get a 70 to 200. Didn't want to get one, didn't want to get one. I broke down and I got one, and I love it. And it stays on the camera majority of the time because indoors it's pretty perfect and outdoors it's pretty perfect and then this is on my current camera the 60 mark II by Canon of course another lens that I have in my camera bag is the 85 millimeter lens great for portraits and it was the second lens I ever bought the first being, of course, the Nifty 50, the second being the 85, because when I first bought my DSL cameras, I mainly just took pictures of my kids and modeling, and so basically needed portrait lenses. And so I only had a 50 and an 85, and that did me well for well over five years. And then um, I've done a lot of buying and upgrading and then selling and buying and upgrading and selling, buying, upgrading. So I didn't have this all at once. And then this is just a battery charger. And then I got cords to charge the battery. This is just my um, cards. This is for my 7D Mark II, um, which is not in my bag, but I do have it. I just like the 6D Mark II a little bit better, even though I know 7D Mark II is considered a sports camera. I prefer the 60 Mark II, especially indoors. And then the Sandus. And um, throughout the years, I tend to save my memory cards because I don't want to, I've had computers crash, I've had hard drives crash, I've had a lot of things crash, but the memory cards, for whatever reason, keep, keep lasting and they keep my memories. And when you wanna go back 10 years, they're still there and I may delete some pictures because I don't need every single picture I take, but I try to take the most memorable and keep those. And then just when a memory card gets full, I just add another. Memory cards nowadays are so large that it's hard to fill it up. Back in the day when you were only getting really small 8 gig memory cards, it was very easy to fill up, but it's not as easy to fill it up now. Camera batteries. Um... I think this is electrical tape. I think you can do Gaptros tape too. More camera batteries, camera wipes, just these little packs. I bought a pack off Amazon and they come in handy because I've had this spray bottle but then that leaks. These are just handy to have along with your your wipes along with your little wipes that you get when you order new cameras and then also in this little bag other than the camera wipes i have some crystals just in case you want to get creative with your portrait photography i haven't really used it too much but they're there more electrical tape and we've used this like during track and field if we've had to do markings um we've used this um during other sports, just in case um, you have a Band-Aid and you need extra tape. I don't think electric tape's that great for it, but you just never know when you might need some tape and they're small and easy to pack. Money, I'm sure it was for concession stands. I just, my daughter's taking the money. I just got this recently and I haven't really used it, but it's a tri, it's a, tripod mount for the 7200 but I rarely use this on tripod again this is mostly around my neck during games but I got it because and I didn't get the Canon brand because um, I just don't use enough but this is metal it looks pretty good but as you can tell it's not really been used but it's small enough it can fit in my bag a blower um, an extender the young gunu two time extender again i can't do a review on this because i haven't really used it but i got it mainly for football um but then i haven't 
the 7200 for the most part does well, but this is for just in case I'm sitting way up in the stands and I want to get a picture and I can't really move. I have this just in case. And then this is the 74 to 24 to 70, I apologize, F4 IS version. And it also has the macro feature. So in case I need some macro photography, the 24 to 70, of course, is the lens that everybody loves. But right now, I love the 72 200 and the 50 millimeter um, for portraits. I may eventually upgrade this and get the lens that everybody loves and get the f 2.8 version but for now the f4 works it's light I also like the 24 to 105 so I go back and forth to getting the 24 to 105 again because I actually like the range from 70 to 105 a little bit better on and to have a little bit more versatility because it seems like 70 cuts things too short especially when you're at cheer competitions or in basketball you would think that in basketball you would need a really wide lens but you tend to need that 70 is kind of a good spot but the 105 is just a tiny bit better even though it's indoors I still got really good shots with the 24 to 105 but I recommend either one this 24 to 70 and then you have macro capability so you don't have to have a whole bunch of lenses in your bags and more tape this is athletic tape in the colors of my daughter's high school maroon. And I think that's all that's in my bag. And then in my cabinet, you can see that I have a lot that is not in my camera bag. This is a, a 5D with a 50 millimeter lens. I have not played around with that that much, but one day I hope to play around with it a little more. It's the original classic 5D and this is just some cheap drones and um, the mini mic for when you want to start vlogging. And I would vlog with the 24 to 70 because um, I don't have it. That's the widest lens I currently have at the time. And then this is just an old lens that doesn't work. So it's for display and it holds my mic pretty well in my cabinet that also houses all my fabric and then this is the 7d mark ii and this is my more more my daughter's but it's available if we need to do some fast action sports and a nice camera strap um from i don't think this is nina and co i think but it's it's a guatemalan uh, camera strap and then her everyday lens is the 18 to 400 Tamron and um, I think this is great with the 7d especially when she wants to just walk around um, I got this pretty I was searching the internet on Amazon one day and it came through as a warehouse deal I've been burned on some warehouse deals but this was a great deal and I grabbed it and haven't wanted to send it back yet I would not say that this is great for indoor sports photography because it's because I think Tamron's are a tiny bit slow with the Canon system I think they're perfect for portraits but if you're trying to do fast action and basketball and cheer and football any of those sports can be fast action so you need the autofocus to be really really good and I think that's all that I have so you can see inside my bag is the 70 to 200, the 24 to 70, and currently the 85 millimeter portrait lens, which is often traded for this 50. This would be my travel lens. So when we pack our bag to go traveling, we're gonna probably pack this lens. So let's pack our bag as if we were gonna go traveling and see what we can fit inside that small little carry-on bag. I have the new um, Peter McKinnon Nomadic um, Cube Pack. That's the official term for it. The 7 to 21 liter Cube Pack that also then becomes a backpack while you're traveling. Um, this is how they have it um, arranged. I haven't rearranged the inside. 
And so I think that uh, that's all I have. So we're going to put the 60 Mark II right here. And then we're going to take the, the 50 milliliter Nifty 50 and put it right beside it. And then we're going to take the, the mic in case we want to vlog while we're traveling. And then we got to figure out what we want to take next. I'm probably, so this is 7,200 and this is 50. I'm probably going to take, well, it will fit, but it might be kind of tight. Um, in fact, they all might be kind of tight. We'll keep that back there. We'll just say we're going to take th take this one. And then to save some space, we're going to use the mini um, PD strap instead of this big seatbelt one. Which, of course, is the one I was using. And it zips up. So what we're keeping here is the 24 to 70. I don't think that we need long range photography and then the 85 millimeters since we have the 50 in there. All right. All right. So I got the packing cube all ready to go and it just slides right on in. I think for, um, because we need some space on this particular trip or would have needed space on that particular trip, I'm going to leave the two, these two straps home. And now I have a whole lot of space for clothes. And I got my uh, 60 Mark II, my 7200 lens, my 50 millimeter lens, and my um, microphone. And then if I want to take my microphone out, I would just probably put my 24 to 70 in there just in case I need a wide angle lens. So you can kind of play around with that. All right. I think that's it. All right, so um, now I'm on my trip and I have my camera gear and I want to go out and about, but I don't want to take my big carry-on bag. So now I just opened it up and have the little Q-Pack bag. And um, when you take it out, it looks like you have to put it to get, put it through these notches. All right, so I just got my camera bag and now I pulled out the thing and we had to kind of figure it out on how you put it together. You um, loosen it, push it in, and that'll loosen. And then it'll go around the strap, and then it goes back in. Again, push it down, it loosens, take it around that loop, and put it right then. And then this one is your shoulder strap. So you can walk around and have some. And there is the back. And my camera gear, the 60 Mark II, 7200, 50 milliliter lens, and microphone, and uh, camera strap are still at the bottom. And it fits with nothing up top. All right.